Anna here with Delta. Today we're going to talk about installing the trim in your bathroom tub and shower. First, let's talk about what's behind the wall, which is Delta's multi-choice universal rough valve. This rough valve is great because it really opens the door to lots of options and works with a wide range of styles and finishes offered by Delta Faucet. It also allows for different valves with varying types of functionality, all without needing to change the valve inside the wall. Today I'm going to show you how to install a single function trim, which is typically a model number that begins with T13 or T14. Let's get started on installing that trim. Okay, so to start our trim install of models beginning with T13 or T14 single function valves, make sure your water is off. The first step to our trim install is to install our cartridge. Then we can screw off this bonnet nut here. We wanna keep that, we're gonna use that later. Okay, now we're gonna pop off this test cap here. And this is just used when pressure testing your lines to make sure that there's no leaks, so we can discard this. All right. Now, before we install our cartridge, we wanna pull out this debris screen. And this is this little black piece here, and this has already served its purpose, so we can discard this too. Okay, now when we install our cartridge here, we wanna look for this H, which stands for hot. We wanna make sure that that's on the hot side. For me, that's on the left side. It may be different for you, but usually it's on the left side. Okay, so I'm gonna line up my H on the left side, my hot side. Then I'm gonna line up these keys here. They look like little arrows with the key ways. And then I'm gonna apply some pressure till that seats in, just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna take our bonnet nut. I'm gonna screw this back on, making sure I'm not cross-threading. Should go on nice and easy, okay. Make that nice and hand tight. Okay, now I'm gonna pause here, then I'm gonna go up top and install our shower arm and our shower head. Okay, now it's time to install our shower head and our shower arm. So I have the shower arm here, and you'll notice there is a long side and a short side. This can go in either way. I'm gonna put mine with the long end in the wall. Now I'm gonna use plumber's tape on both sides. You can see I've already taped one side. Now on this side, I wanna make sure that when I put the plumber's tape on, that the end of the tape doesn't start to unravel when I tighten this into the wall. So I'm gonna flip this around towards me, put my tape on. You're gonna to wanna to wrap this around four to six times. Okay. Put that off. All right, so now when I put this into the wall, you can see when I tighten it, this tail isn't gonna come off because it's gonna be flattened down that way. Okay, now we're gonna take our flange and I'm gonna do the finish side towards me. And I'm gonna slide this right over my threads on my arm. And I'm gonna pull it back just enough so that when I go to screw this into my fitting, I'm not scratching the wall, but I don't wanna take it too far down my arm because I don't wanna scratch my arm. Okay, now I'm gonna screw it into the fitting. Okay, I've got that tightened nice and snug. Now I wanna make sure it's pointing down and then I'm gonna push my flange back till it touches the wall. I wanna make sure that that's nice and tight everywhere. Okay, now it's time to install our shower head. Now I wanna make sure that this gasket and screen hasn't fallen out. In your packaging, it comes with these right in here. I just wanna make sure that they're still in here. Okay, those are both in. So now we're gonna hand tighten our shower head onto the end of our arm. Okay, now this shower head spins on a ball joint, you can see. So if you need to get it just a little bit tighter, you can reach up here to the nut on the top of the shower head and just hand tighten it. And if you have a leak, you can use a wrench. I would just use a towel as a buffer between the wrench and the top of the nut here. And there's two flat sides on the nut, so you can put the wrench right on there and tighten it. And then if you have any excess plumber's tape, you can just use a knife and take away the excess. Okay, that looks good. We're ready to move on to install our tub spout.
Okay, so to install our tub spout, everything you need will be in this bag. And the instructions are actually listed on the outside of the bag, so be careful when opening it, you don't rip it, and make sure not to discard it. Okay, so in the bag, there will be a tub spout adapter. And there's a couple different kinds of these depending on how they attach. You can either sweat it on, you can slip it on, and then tighten it down with a set screw, or you can thread it on to a half inch pipe thread. I have the kind that I'm going to slip on. So I'm just gonna slip it over my copper pipe here with the set screw towards the back. And you wanna to refer to the instructions on your bag for how much space to leave between the back of the adapter and your shower wall here. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna tighten this down with an eighth inch hex key. Now if you have the adapter that you're going to sweat on, just make sure that you take this O-ring off before you solder. Okay, I don't wanna over tighten this. I don't wanna break through this copper. Just wanna get it snug on there. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to take silicone and my tub spout. And I'm going to put silicone on three sides. So I'm gonna put it on this edge, this edge, and this edge. I'm gonna avoid down here to this weep hole in case any water drains back here or condensation. I want a place for that water to drain. All right, so we'll just put a thin bead of silicone. Now we're gonna take this, slide it on over our adapter, and then we're gonna screw it on. Okay, I just want this tight enough that there's no gap and that the tub spot is facing down. Okay, that looks good. All right, now I'm gonna grab a damp cloth and wipe up any excess silicone. Okay, we've got that cleaned up, our tub spout's installed. Now let's go finish our valve trim install. Okay, so for our trim install, we're gonna start by grabbing this black O-ring. I'm gonna slide it on past my bonnet nut, making sure that it sits just right up against the edge of it. I don't want it to slide back any further. Okay. That's good, now I'm gonna take my spacer and my sleeve here. There's no up or down to this. Just slide it in all the way to the bottom. Okay, now I'm gonna put my sleeve right over my cartridge, making sure that that's seated. Okay, now we're gonna take our escutcheon You'll notice on the back of our discussion there's a gasket here. I'm gonna take some silicone and apply a thin bead of silicone all around the gasket except for where it breaks here. There's a little hole here in the bottom that allows water to drain, so I don't want a silicone over that. Okay, so we've got silicone on our gasket. Now I'm gonna flip it over towards me and grab our screws included in your packaging. I'm just gonna put them through each one of these screw holes. Now I'm gonna line up these screws with the screw holes in our bracket here. All right, I got the bottom one. And there's the top one. All right, now I'm gonna take my Phillips screwdriver. I'm gonna tighten these down. One at a time, just doing a little bit. I'll move to the next one, tighten it down, making sure I don't over tighten. Okay, that's good. All right, now I am gonna put on my handle. However, I'm not gonna tighten down this set screw yet. I only want it on so that I can turn our water on and then test our water temperature. So you notice in the bottom of the handle here, there is a hole where this stem goes. We're just gonna line that up just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna hop out of the tub, turn the water on, and see what our water temperature is. Okay, now it's time to test our water temperature. Industry standard says that 120 degrees is the maximum, but your local code may vary. Typically, 90 to 110 degrees is comfortable. Okay, so we're gonna start by turning our water on to cold. We're gonna let it run to cold just for a few seconds. Then we're gonna turn it all the way to hot and let it get as hot as it can get. Now we're gonna take our thermometer and run it under the water 
and see where we're at. Okay, so that's holding steady at 92 degrees. And you do wanna make sure that you wait until the thermometer stops at a number or hovers around a number so you don't get a false reading. So that's a little bit cold for me. So I'm gonna adjust my rotational limit stop. And to do that, I'm gonna pull my handle off. And then you'll see there's directional arrows on the top that point to hotter and colder. So I'm gonna pull it out and I'm gonna move it just a couple grooves over towards the hot, just to make it a little bit hotter. Now we're gonna put our handle back on, turn it back on to hot and see where we're at. Okay, that's right at 105, which is exactly where I want it to be. If you still need to adjust yours, just adjust it little by little until you achieve the temperature you need. Okay, now the last step is to take our 330 seconds hex key and we're gonna tighten this set screw. Okay, perfect. That wraps up our install of bottles starting with T13 and T14 single function valves. All right, that wraps up our install. I hope it went smoothly for you. If you have any questions or need any help, reach out to Delta's customer service. They have a knowledgeable support staff ready to help.